How to create a logo in Adobe Photoshop for beginners 2025. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about Adobe Photoshop and how you're going to be going ahead and creating a logo for yourself. So for starters, first of all, what you're going to be doing is you're going to make sure that you have an element of, you know, work or use. So first of all, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be choosing two letters. So let's say I'm going to go with um, DNC because, you know, the, there are letters that are much easier to add in a design. So I'm going to go ahead, increase their sizes. Now, once the sizes are increased, what we're going to do from here is we're going to go ahead and rasterize this layer. So once you rasterize the layer, what you're going to do from here on out is you're going to go ahead, click on M. And what we're going to do is we're going to crop this D out of here. Okay. So once we have taken the D out, okay, just go ahead copy paste. Okay. Now, once this is done, what you're simply going to be doing is you're going to go to the eraser tool. And what we're going to do from here is we're simply going to be erasing this D out of here. So once you go ahead and erase this D, what you're going to do from there is you're going to take this D and you're going to position it right with the C that we have over here. Now, once this is done, what you're simply going to be doing is you're going to start creating layers. Okay. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to create three layers of C. Okay. So first layer right about here. And then we have the second layer right about here. So we're going to jumble up these layers and we're going to do the same with the D. Okay. So there's the first right here and there's the second right here. Okay. So once this is done, what you're going to want to do from here on out is you're going to start adding the colors to the layers. So first of all, I'm going to come up here. We're going to go over to color overlay and you're going to add this, whatever overlay you think is going to work better for you. Position the text accordingly to yourself. Once we have done that, we're going to do the same with the C. You're going to come here, give it any type of color overlay that you want. Let's say I'm going to go with a green. Okay. And once that is done, click on OK. Now, once this is done, what you are going to be doing is you're going to make sure that the C's start moving closer to the D right over here. And once they have moved in closer, like so, what you're going to do from here on out is you're going to be different uh, using the different colors in the scheme. So we're going to go over to the D over here. We're going to go to its color overlay and we're going to give it some yellow. And obviously make sure to give it some little warm yellow, you know, a nice yellow. And once we have done that, we're going to go over to our eraser tool and we're going to start using it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the size a little smaller. And what you're going to want to do from here is you're going to choose the layer that you want to erase. And just like that, we're going to start erasing the words that we have over here. So you start erasing it. And once this is done, what you can do is you can obviously shape it up, make it look nicer as you go on. And once this is done, you can use different individual colors in your design to work along with the different color schemes as well. It depends on you on how you choose to work with the different color schemes. And uh, you can do the same with the C's as well. Okay, right over here, I'm going to open this up. Let's go over to color overlay. Let's make it a red. Okay, so we make it a red. And once you make it a red, we're going to go over to C and let's remove that. Now, once you remove that up, as you can see, the C now has different colors and the same you can do right over here. We're going to do that. We're going to remove this part. And once you remove that part, what you can do is right over here on this C, let's give it a different color. So I'm going to come here. And once we come here, let's give it a purple shade or let's go with a pink shade. Okay. So we go with a pink shade, you choose the second C. 
Once you choose the second seat, there you go. You can give it those different individual colors like that. And as so, once this is done, all you're going to need to do is you're going to go ahead and merge everything into a group. Okay. And what you can do is you can give the background a nice color, add some text right under it. And that is basically how you're going to be creating a logo of any type with different colors and individualities. It all obviously depends on your creativity, but that is basically about it. So thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see you all of you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.